Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, you have to realize that um, as n tends to infinity, n to the power of n will be much, much bigger than n factorial. You have to realize that. Uh, so, so let's, let's try and understand why. So, uh, so, so let n, let n equals, equals 5. So when he, when n equals 5, it would be 5 to the power of 5. So that's 5 to the power of 5. 5 times 5 times 5, and so on. When n equals 5, you're going to have uh, 5 factorial. That's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And, and already you can see that um, n, n to the power of n already seems to be a lot bigger than uh, n factorial. And then if, if you extend, if you, if you increase n, let's say 9, uh, n n factorial when when n equals 9 will be 9 times 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then n to the power of n will be 9 9 9 9 9 already you can see that um, that well if you pair these up you can see you can see that the uh, n to the power of n will be much bigger than n factorial okay so so realize that n to the power of n will be much much bigger than than n factorial as, as n tends to infinity. So back to the, the original question. So the original question was this. You have to realize that this is much, much bigger than n factorial because we want to, we want to factor out the, um, factorize out n to the power of n, the larger of the two basically. So if you factor out n to the power, uh, n to the power of n, um, if you get this multiply with this, it will then give you this. So, uh, so, so from here, factorize out n to the power of n. That would then give you this. The reason why you want to um, factorize out the the higher of the two is because when you when, when you when you look at this, n to the power of n would be much bigger than n factorial. So as n tends to infinity, this thing here is just going to go to zero. If you factor out the lower of the two, then this this won't go to zero. Well, anyway, from here, uh, factor out n to the power of n. That would then give you this. So now, as n tends to infinity, um, this thing here will head towards zero because n to the power of n is much bigger. And then you, so this thing here will be one. So, uh, so as n tends to infinity, this whole, well, tidy this up, that will then give you this. And then, uh, and then as n tends to infinity, that will give you two. So the limit is two. Okay. So next one. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so same technique, but we, we've got to realize which one will be bigger, uh, this or this, as n tends to infinity. So it really boils down to, to uh, uh, e to the power of 2n versus 3 to the 3 n factorial, which will be larger as n tends to infinity. So if you look at the original question, we've got to, we've got to um, establish which one will be larger as n tends to infinity. So it boils down to um, to this versus this. So let's try and understand this versus this. So when n equals four, uh, when n equals four, your well this this thing here you, you you can imagine as being e to the power of n times e to the power of n. Um, that's e to the power of two n. So basically you add these two. So when n equals four, uh, you, you can visualize it as um, e times by itself. Uh, four times and then times by itself four times. So this will then become this. So when n equals four, when n equals four, this will be, well, we're going to visualize as four, four fact, four factorial will be four times three times two and then you've got three blocks. So one, two, three. That's this three here. So, uh, so, so let's, um, you, um, well, th e, e is 2.7 something. Let, let's just round off to, uh, to, to 3. So, so already you can see that, um, um, well, let, 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 let's just forget about this for the time being. Uh, and, and, and you, you, you can see that as you increase, as you increase n, as you increase n, um, as you increase n, this is going to be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Uh, let, let's just say n is um, sorry. Let's just say n is uh, n is nine. You're going to get this. E e was, we'll remember e is two point seven, but we're going to round off to three. So so this thing here will be roughly 
3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, when n equals 9, that is. You, you're going to get 9, 9 here. You, you're going to get 9 here. And then, and then, and then 9 factorial is going to be, uh, 9 times 8 times 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then you've got 3 blocks here. And let's just, even if we forget about this, even if we don't take this into account, the denominator, well, this thing here will be a lot bigger than this thing here because look at this, the three, the, the cutoff point, the cutoff point is here. Beyond this, everything here will be much, much bigger than everything here. And then as, as you increase n, as n tends to infinity, uh, as n tends to infinity, the whole block here, the whole block here will be just three, 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 three. And then this one here will be, let's say, let's say we take it up to 20, 20, 19, 18, and so on. Everything, everything beyond the, the, uh, the three will be much bigger than everything beyond here. So, so you can see that as, as n tends to infinity, um, as n tends to infinity, this thing here will be much, much bigger than this thing here. I hope you can follow that. I didn't explain it too well. So anyway, so uh, as n tends to infinity, so so back to the the original question, it boils down to which will be bigger, this or this, as n tends to infinity. It turns out that this will be much much bigger than this. So let's factor out, let's factorize out the bigger of the two. Let's factorize out n factorial. Okay. So so looking at the denominator only, uh, factorize factorize out. Um, uh, n factorial, so you're going to get this. For for this one here, you're going to have e two n over n factorial, and then plus, and then for this one, it's going to be three. So now if you get this times this, that will then give you this. This times this, that will then give you this. So basically, factorize n factorial, that will then give you this. So now, um, now because n factorial is bigger than e to the power of two n, as n tends to infinity. The denominator will be much, much bigger than the numerator. So this thing here will head towards zero. So it boils down to this being the number three. So three times um, n factorial, three times n factorial. Here you've got factorial, factorial. So these two cancel each other out, giving you a third. So the limit is a third. Okay.